Hi, so you have decided to learn to coat and you want to know all the things that are hot and in demand now. But do all the courses and tutorials make you feel overwhelmed? Would it not be great if someone guided you? If someone told you what are the trends and technologies used in software companies today? Would you want an overview of what you need to learn? You have come to the right place. The same thing happened to Andrea. She came to me, asking me if I could be her mentor. She felt overwhelmed with all the technologies, frameworks that pop out every day. Since web development was not her first career choice, she was afraid she just could not handle it. She said how much better she would feel if someone showed her what is important. She wants to know where to start and proceed. She is not the only one asking, so this is a video that will answer her and your burning questions. Beware! In the description below you will see a link to an article. This article will include all the resources to courses, certificates free and paid. I'm making reviews for you. The article will be a go-to place for you to find the latest overview with the resources to learn. It will go much deeper. Do not forget to click it. Use it as a reference on your journey. Let me take you for a spin. This research is backed up by insights from Google Trends and Stack Overflow Insights. So these are not my personal opinions, they are measured globally. They will give you insights on how not to miss and how to get that perfect web development job. So where to start if you want to be a web developer? First you start with the basics. You need to know how does the internet work. Learn about browsers and how they work. What is DNS and how it works? What is the domain name and hosting? What do HTTP, HTTPS, SSH mean? And do not forget to click the link below. It will give you resources when you can learn about all this stuff. I will also add links to free courses and paid one, but just the ones that I review and I can give you a valuable insights on it. Click the link below, yes? Okay. Web development is not a singular path. You can choose many directions. We will come to that. But for all the directions, you need to have the least basic knowledge of the terminal. If you have never used it and it looks scary, believe me, it is not. You will learn the first few commands and go from there. You will learn when you need them. No need to learn in advance. To get resources for all the following technologies I mentioned, go to the article. Before you get started, you will also need an editor or an IDE where you will write your code. For some programming languages, it will be different. While getting started, I recommend using Atom or Visual Studio Code. Both have cool extensions and packages that make the developer's job easier. When you have installed the editor, you can get started. There is one more thing you will need in any direction, that is Git. Version Control System. Git will help you manage versions of your apps, revert when you need to. It will make your life way easier. If you are using Windows, then I recommend using Git Bash instead of using the command prompt. And a great graphical tool is the Git source tree. I use the terminal, but if you prefer the graphical design, this will make your life easier again. No matter what direction you go, you will need to have at least basic knowledge of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. If you decide to be a front-end developer, then you will be an expert in this. Let me tell you what a front-end developer is. Front-end developer is an expert in user interfaces for the web. You will be creating and styling interfaces. You will be working on JavaScript-driven interfaces. You will be creating reusable components with JavaScript logic and CSS styling. In simple terms, HTML elements are the building block of every page and CSS is a style sheet for these documents. With CSS you color the button and size it. And JavaScript is a scripting or programming language that runs in the browser. It allows you to implement complex features on web pages. For example, displaying real-time content updates or interactive maps. JavaScript is there every time a web page does more 
then display static information for you to look at. The front-end developer will take website design files, then he will convert them to HTML, CSS and JavaScript. As a front-end web developer, you will link together the design and the technology. The interfaces you make will interact with the backend. But you will not do any server-side business logic. You won't be doing user authentication. And you won't be working with databases or creating APIs. That will be a job of a backend developer. The backend developer will implement the business logic. He will access databases and create APIs for the front-end to interact with. And he will take care of data validation and data storage. He will schedule processes and do authentication and so on. And there is another route. A full-stack web developer. He is the jack of all trades. He or she knows about the front-end technologies and the back-end technologies. He has a full understanding of the complete tech stack, which is perfect if you work as a freelancer, like me, or if you work in a smaller company, which I prefer also. As said, you have options. Start learning at the beginning, then watch what you like doing more and follow that path. In the next two videos, I will give you an overview of front-end and back-end development roadmap. Be sure to open the article below. This article will go way deeper and it will also have resources of where you can get the knowledge. And make sure you tick this little subscribe button. I will post more videos about web development, all sorts of tips and tricks just for you. So let's make an overview of the front-end path. If you want, you can also go straight to the back-end development learning path. Just follow me to the next video. Bye-bye.